Okay, here's a video about how to uh, transfer your uh, data on uh, your Kali Linux uh, Google Nexus tablet to uh, your personal computer using FileZilla. Okay, so um, if you uh, like to use tablets and you also like to use Linux, then uh, Kali Linux is the best Linux that I've found. I've, I've tried Linux Deploy and all the, all the other types of Linux, and, and Kali Linux actually is, is the best Linux. Maybe I'll do a video about that later. Um, but uh, it gives you more control over uh, different directories than the other ones do, and it's, it's really written well. And so here's, here's Kali Linux, and uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, start a Kali Linux window. So we'll we'll launch a, a Kali Linux in terminal shell. Okay. And in order to uh, use FileZilla or any of the other uh, like putty programs or whatever you have to uh, set up a server on this side, on the uh, tablet side. And uh, so in order to do that you have to uh, start the service program, the SSH shell or pro program. So type service, S-I-V-I-C-E, service, space, S-S-H, space, start, and hit return. Okay. And now the uh, your server is running on this end. So now you can go to your personal computer and start up FileZilla, and we'll we'll show that next. Okay. Actually, before we go to the computer, we're going to need one more piece of information. We're going to need to know what IP address that. Uh, that uh, the tablet is operating on. So we're going to type in if config c o n f i g and hit return. Okay, then we'll get a list of a bunch of different things and we'll look down under uh, WLAN and there's a the second entry down there is inet address 192 168.114. So now we'll remember that because that's the IP address we'll have to put into FileZilla so we can uh, connect up with this tablet and transfer files off of it. Okay, so now we'll go to the computer and open up FileZilla. Okay, we'll go down and find uh, FileZilla, double click on it, and uh, we have uh, on the left hand side the directories where we can put stuff on the computer and on the right hand side we haven't connected yet to our device but let's let's find a directory uh, okay we'll, we'll put the the files under this folder let's say videos and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here we're going to type in our uh, our address that we want to go to we'll start out with sftp colon slash slash 192.168.1.14 okay and Kali Linux always goes under the name root r-o-o-t and the password, you can't see it, but it's root spelled backwards, or T-O-O-R, Tor. And we will use port number 22, and then we'll click quick, uh, click quick connect. And, uh, okay, we've logged on. And here's uh, files on the, the uh, tablet, the Kali, Kali Linux tablet running under the uh, Kali Linux change root directories and I want to for instance take maybe everything in, in uh, this directory C 
and move it over to my computer. So I'll stick it over in this uh, videos folder and FileZilla will start transferring all the files and create a new folder over here. Okay, so we'll try FileZilla again. After doing some research, it appears that um, the uh, you know, FileZilla needs permissions to um, to write into the directory of the, of the folders. Uh, it's a little bit confusing to me because I just did this a few days ago into the same same folders and uh, it had permissions and it worked fine. But today it's not working. So um, okay, so we will try entering this again. 192.168.0.0. One dot fourteen for the host address. We're gonna log in as root, and the password for Cali is always Tor, root spelled backwards, and port twenty two, and we'll do a quick connect. So we're connecting to the the uh, the tablet, and here's all of our files here, and so if we go into uh, we go into the home home directory up here. Home, and then under your own directory, binary. Uh, I figured I'd just try a folder that's owned by FileZilla. So there's a folder called .filezilla, and so we're, we're under that directory right now. And we'll just choose a file over here, maybe the motion file, and we'll bring it over here. And we'll type in the password again, Tor. And now it copied the file perfectly. So this is how you can transfer uh, files through uh, SFTP. Uh, and uh, you can transfer files from your Linux, Kali Linux, to your uh, Linux computer. And uh, thank you for watching.